Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we will show you how to use the, pre, uh, the, the ring compressor tool or the piston ring compressor tool and how to install a piston on a car. This is the tool guys, uh, we'll have the link in the description of the video, it comes with the pliers, really really good deal. Those are the pliers for the, uh, for the piston rings, we'll show you how it works in just a minute. Uh, we had to remove that engine out of the car and we had the engine block. Uh, board out next step over 20 or uh, in our case it's uh, 0.5 millimeters okay you have to make sure that everything is uh, clinically clean super super clean so we'll be installing the piston on numbers uh, on cylinder number four now okay let me show you what we need to do now so this is the piston right here and uh, I'll show you quick uh, just just very quick video how to remove okay how to remove the piston ring or install with this thing it's super easy we have a special video that explains everything where the piston ring should be and all that stuff so we have to do grab it with the pliers like that pull it out check it out it just takes um, a second to replace a piston ring with those pliers so I'll definitely recommend them because it's doable by hand we did them by hand in the video but uh, do that because it's uh, it's safer for the rings and you cannot cause the piston that way. You cannot cause any damage to the piston. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of oil, okay, everywhere on the piston. You need to have a good amount of oil in the canals as well. Everything needs to be soaked in oil. Now this is the tool that we'll be using, okay. You have to make sure that it's super clean on the inside, there is no dust, dirt or anything like that. Again, okay, I'm going to apply generous amount of oil inside of it as well, like that. Now, you have to make sure that your piston rings are pointing where they're supposed to. And we have the video about that. So, if you want to expand the tube, it works from like 2 to 7 inch piston press down here and it's going to roll out okay you can see in our case that's pretty big now so that should be good okay and all we have to do get the piston inside careful with the rings okay hold it and just it comes with the two start getting it tight what I usually do I make the piston to come out just a little bit on the bottom, that way it can start going in the cylinder. Hold it and get it tight, I mean get it as tight as you can. Okay, and one of the rings I just saw that it moved. So I'm going to go ahead, position it again. Okay, now it went in. You have to make sure that all the rings are in. The ones on the bottom as well, otherwise you can cause damage guys. Really bad, bad damage, so. Okay, you can kind of see the, oh, one second. The piston rings compressing now inside, okay. That's it, right there. So every piston should have, uh, should have some kind of marking that indicates it's going forward pointing forward of the engine ours is the stamp and this dot is facing the timing cover now on the bottom everything looks good as well okay you can see just like that now we're going to apply a little bit of oil here a little bit of oil on the side as well because that's where it will be sliding out and now let's go ahead and install it in the car but before we do that I'll just set it right here. I need to get oil and lubricate the cylinder wall. Really, really good. I mean, that needs to be soaking with oil. Okay, perfect. Now, it might not work from first time. So don't press it too much, not to cause uh, any damage to the rings if it doesn't work out the first time. Get it in. Okay, like that, get it in and now push the piston down while we're holding this in place. 
Okay, and one of the rings just came loose. It didn't go all the way in. So, you have two options. You can do it by hand, but in our case, I want all the rings to go in and it's not going to happen every single time. So, I'm going to pull the piston out and redo it again. So, we will have a person to press it out now. Never ever try to pry on it or anything like that because you damage it. I can put that ring by hand in, but I want to show you because the, the, the tool might not work the first time. That's why I left it just a little bit loose to show you that you need to take your time and not to press it too hard in. So I lubricated the cylinder again, installed the tool, the same one we did before. I just made the pistons to stick out a little bit more so I feel more confident where it's going to go on the cylinder. Okay, like that, hold the tool down now. What I did, I wasn't holding it down all the way and probably popped back up and it wasn't tight all the way as well. And I'll just press the piston in. Okay, and you can see went in with exactly no problem. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, check out the channel, give a like, check out our Facebook page and see you guys next time.